If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. Okay, so I wanted to talk about my first impressions of Roddy Rich's new album, Live Life Fast, today. I've given this one listen so far, so this is truly like my first impression. I am going to drop a more in depth review in the future, um, but this is honestly just me giving my first, you know, top of the head thought thoughts of what I think about this when first listening. So let's jump straight into it. So Roddy Rich has finally released his sophomore studio album, Live Life Fast, that we've been waiting for for almost two years now. You know, his last album, Please Excuse Me for Being Antisocial, which elevated him into yet another level of stardom, especially with hits like The Box, which was the main driving force of that. Um, it's almost been two years since then. I think it's been two years even. Um, so we've been waiting for this for a long time, leading up to this I always said that I have high expectations I said that him waiting two years to drop this um, you know meant that it was going to be great meant that it was you know going to be in somewhat of a Kendrick lane where he just comes through every couple of years and drops a classic and then just dips and zones out for the next few years um, I thought that he was going to be in that lane and Roddy had so much potential in terms of dropping like a modern classic with this one y'all guys in the comments I know Royce was talking talking about this being a modern day twisted fantasy which of course that was a very high of an expectation but you know it, it could have been that but it's honestly not that when you first listen to this I, I gotta say it's kind of disappointing I mean it's not bad the individual tracks are pretty good I, I go, can go back to a couple of them and just re-listen to them but all in all this was not worth the wait for me don't get me wrong if he had dropped this album the year after please excuse me me for being into antisocial so in 2020 this would have probably been a pretty good album and everybody would have been like yo roddy you did it again you came through with another you know really good album but him taking that time and being like him wanting this to be so special and him retreating from the public and being like you know i want to focus on this i want to work on this this is like my you know album my body of art my body of work that i want to put out and emphasize so much for for that, it's just really not good enough. All the tracks sound very similar. We have a lot of that heavy, low end, you know, have very deep 808s layered, and then just a very bare instrumental of drums and some, you know, melodies on top of that. He is executive producing this album himself. Maybe he's just not as well, you know, diverse and well as suited as a producer, and maybe that's why it all sounded a bit, you know, just very, very alike the a whole album through um I, I did like the intro i thought that was you know a pretty cool way to start and we were gonna you know be set up for something greater to come with him like singing and stuff like that but that's really where like that you know him stepping out of his comfort zone and singing really stops all of the rest of the records are him just in his comfort zone of rapping and doing these you know more vocally loud um melodic rap type stuff that he's known for doing um there are of course a couple Couple of tracks like all good i really like that i want to go back to roller coasting i think slowed the album down a little bit but then you know even those even that feature from jamie fox i thought that jamie fox was going to be on the track but he's just like a he's like a skit in there and then the, he's trying to like keep it conceptual with that slow it down interlude but it's just it's just forced it just feels like that doesn't have anything to do with the rest of the record um and it just feels like he was like yeah man i gotta you know somehow get some concept in here slow it down live life fast and you know people are gonna like this they're gonna think it has a deeper meaning but in the end it really doesn't all the tracks you could see them as individual tracks and they don't really you know they're not really important to each other and not like there's not a coherent structure in this one the tracks on please excuse me for being antisocial even if there wasn't like a bigger concept to it as well at least they like transitioned into each other on here we have on almost every track where they like um you know put a lot of reverb and slow it down the instrumental at the end of the track but then it doesn't really transition into the next one at least there's some type of similarities in the tracks like that but it just feels like they were like yo we gotta somehow you know make people believe that this all has like a you know connected meaning so we're just gonna do this thing on all of the tracks but it, it just, I don't know, it feels lazy. It feels like they didn't really want 
want that. Um, Everything You Need, I thought, was another great track. I thought the one with Lil Baby was amazing. I thought, you know, that intro, that very long intro, and then both of them just going off was pretty good. But that's I'm also biased. I love Lil Baby. Um, I think Roddy's part was cool. But it really also wasn't like, you know, a standout track. And the fact that Late at Night was the single to this... I think it's kind of ironic because Late at Night is the only track that somehow stands out on here. It's the only track where he like actually slows it down, maybe aside from like roller coasting. Um, and, you know, it just actually takes out some tempo and it just doesn't feel like it's just part of the other playlist. But the fact that he dropped that as the single just made me believe that we were going to get so much more and so much more diverse and other stuff that we haven't heard from Roddy before. But then this album drops and the rest is just like this all mushed together, homogenous, just matter of songs. And I just don't really like that. So I love Late at Night. That's probably my favorite song on here just because it's the one that uh, feels the, the most different. Um, but, you know, we got that as a single before. So it's not like that was even part of the new tracks we got, which I really don't like. So you can see that, you know, my opinion on this thing is not that positive. But I do want to emphasize that. As I said, if he had dropped this the year after his first album, everybody, you know, would be celebrating this. Nobody would have a problem with this. But since we all had those high expectations, I feel like he just really didn't come through. He also made a really big deal with like a film for this and rolling it out with this crazy intro trailer that we it felt like we were going to get something more cinematic, more like, you know, actual album where he talks about something important and it's not like he touches on any important subjects on here. It's a lot of like I get these women and I make this money and I was broke in the past and now I made it, which is cool. You know, we like to listen to that from Roddy. But, you know, for the whole album, it's just, I don't know, I don't, this doesn't live up to my expectations. Um, The wait was not worth it, and I just feel like Roddy could have done so much better and could have cemented such an amazing place in hip-hop as one of those, you know, goats of the new generation with, you know, just a classic if he would have came through with it. But it is what it is can't really uh, change it now i hope that in the future if he, if he does take more time with the next one maybe we'll get something different maybe him stepping out of his comfort zone uh, a little bit more but this was not worth the wait so yeah that's my opinion on this my first impression maybe if i listen to this you know a couple of more times it's gonna change a little bit but i don't think it's gonna change that much so yeah now I want to know what you think about this. What are your first impressions? What are your first thoughts after listening to it? You know, your first time, your second time, your third time. What's your favorite track? Your least favorite track? How do you think it compares to what your expectations were and what the public expectations were? All of that. Let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and blog down in the description. It really helps me out. Until the next one, y'all have an incredible day and y'all take care.